What's up, Saggies? Saggy babies. Uh, fire signs. Um, this is your June reading. Let's rock and roll. Alright. That's not my tagline, by the way. I don't have one. I just say what I say. <laughs> Alright, you already have the unknown card in reverse. The knight of pentacles in the upright. I don't think this makes a difference in the reverse or not. But, oh shit, you have a known card in reverse. Uh, and pentacles in reverse. Four of swords in reverse. Oh, shit, you guys. I'm sorry. All right. Here, let's do this. What's going on with their Sagittarius people? I don't know. It might not resonate with everybody, so keep that in mind. I'm sorry about the glare, you guys. There's really nothing I can do about it at this point. But, um... You know what? Give me a second, you guys. Let me, let me uh, change the lighting here. Maybe that's what it is. Is that, no, that's worse. <laughs> Sorry if you see my nasty ass unpedicured feet. I know I'm totally due for a pedicure. Woo! Sorry. I'm almost up. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Is that better? Is it worse? <sighs> yeah, that's a little, yeah, it's cool, right? It's kind of sets the mood. Um, <laughs> dude, what's going on? What's at the bottom of the deck? You shit, oh, wrong deck. I was gonna say you're shitting me. Four of cups, okay, that makes sense. Four of cups, bottom of the deck, here. All right. Um. So what are we meditating about? What are we dissatisfied about? What are we kind of contemplating here? There's no action here. There's just emotions, right? We're feeling our emotions. We're feeling things through first. Obviously, uh, we don't. It's something that we can't necessarily know at this moment. So, I mean, if you're looking for answers, this is kind of like saying not everything is meant to be known at this point of time. Um, maybe some other time, but right now, not necessarily. But there's just obviously there's still messages here. Um, why is the Four of Cups here? For the overall. Why is the Four of Cups here? Because of the Page of Swords in reverse. Because somebody told you some things that were kind of harsh. May have been true, may have not been true, but I mean, swords are supposed to be truth, right? It's, but it's communication. Or could be lack thereof communication. It can go either way. It could have been a communication to where it was aggressive, a little, you know, abrasive. Um, not in the best way, but, you know, kind of left you having to think about things. Or could it be lack thereof communication that left you having to think about things, right? So, why is the Knight of Pentacles here in reverse? The Hanged Man. So, there's some stagnant energy here. Something's not moving forward. Something's taking a long time. Something's delaying here. Um, somebody's not, you know, in on, in their full potential yet, um, or they feel like they're not at their full potential yet. Like things are just. Why aren't things happening for me? That's what I'm hearing. Why aren't things happening for me? I really should be at that point in my life, but I'm not. Why aren't things happening for me? Again, with the four swords in reverse. You know, um, it, you were in contemplation mode about this. You were meditating, but now you're coming out of a state of meditation. Now it's like coming out of from that meditative state, the stagnant energy, to, you know, actually coming out of that, but doing something with what, you know, you had found with your own meditations and your own, you know, inner seeking. Um, and you're finding out that actually that you didn't listen to yourself. Your intuition was yelling at you and telling you, hey, listen, this is what it is. This is how it's going to go. And you're like, no. And they're like, if you would have just listened to me in the first place, you could have avoided this. I'm kidding. But um, 
No, but yeah, it's, it was your intuition. Like, someone who was ignoring their intuition. But that's why, like, you went back. It, that's, but you tried. You tried to find it. I just feel like something's blocked here. Maybe your intuition is blocked. Maybe you're not trusting your intuition. Maybe you feel like you can't trust your intuition because it might have, you know, you might have mistook or misread it or misinterpreted it before. I'm getting a lot of that, too, and misinterpretation. You're like, oh, I thought it was going this way, but it's actually this way. And I know my intuition told me that it was that way this time, but because I listened to my intuition last time and I was wrong, I didn't want to listen to it this time. Does that make any sense? I know this sounds fucking nuts, but that's what I'm getting. But just to clarify, why is the four swords here in reverse and the high priestess in reverse? Clarifying it with the Vanessa Carol. Seven of Cups, because you're confused. Something's confusing you here. Or you have a lot of options and you don't know which one to take. It's also illusions. Maybe you're dreaming about something constantly and you don't know why you're dreaming about it. So that's why it's like, maybe it's your intuition telling you, like, you're dreaming about it, I'm telling you, but you're not listening to it. Or your intuition is telling you, this is, you're, you're delusional. Like, yeah, this is not real. Like, or your intuition is telling you, there's so many options here. What are you going to do? What are you going to choose? But the good news is, okay, gosh. I don't know why I didn't see it before. You're finding out that your block your, is, is an emotional one. The reason why things haven't been going for you lately is because you have a physical or energetic, I'm sorry, you have an energetic block. You're emotionally blocked. Maybe your chakras aren't aligned or there's just some energy that needs to be moved because it was too stagnant or you have some old ties attached to you energetically and you need to cut cords. But either way, you're having victory in this. You're finding out and you're like, oh shit, like, that's my block. Like, I have uh, intimacy issues or I have a hard time expressing myself, you know? Like, I feel like that's what it is. It's like, you know, you're, sta you're always standing in the sidelines and you're, you know, you're always in a meditative state and you think about things a lot, but it's like you have a hard time expressing yourself and um, you have a hard time... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Now I'm blocked. <laughs> What's the word? You have a hard time. Um, oh, it's right there. Oh, this is going to this is gonna, like bug me. What is it? Oh. I can't think of it, and it's like right there. I mean, I can think of it, but I can't. I don't know. Executing. <laughs> That's right. You have a hard time executing. How long does that freaking take? Oh my goodness. You have a hard time executing your plans because you have a hard time of expressing yourself. Now, this doesn't have to be you. This can be the other person. And just to remind you, not all readings will resonate. But let me get another, another um, card here. Is that what indeed is happening? Emotional block. King of Swords. Maybe you're cold in your way of communicating. You know, maybe you're realizing that, oh shit, like, I, I say some pretty cold things. I'm detached from my feelings. Like, I don't necessarily like my feel. Like, I, I'm the type of person that says, ew, what are feelings? <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't have this type of feelings. Like, I'm just, like, I kind of go with the flow and it is what it is. But I think you're realizing that you kind of have to, like, cut that energy out of, you know, in, you might just have to be vulnerable and just be like, fuck it, like, okay, I have feelings or I'm feeling this way and and things will be positive because you have the Six of Wands with victory there. But, um, let me get an outcome card for you guys. So, Sagis have victory. They're, and it's fire. It's a fire. So, Six of Wands is victory. Moving forward in victory. Victorious. Even, maybe, possibly, um, you know, recognition from your peers. Um, four of air, two of air, so four swords again, two swords, and f will of fortune. You know what? Um, it's, it's telling you it's time to stop. It's time to stop being so meditative and thinking, overthinking things. You need to get out of it. You need to make that decision whether you want to move forward or not. But either way, you need to move out of that stagnant energy and that meditative state. You're taking too much time in that meditative state. Like, just just go. You're going to be victorious. Like, just go. 
don't doubt it. Don't doubt yourself. You can do this. You got this. And it's with a fortune in the upright, so that's beautiful. So your destiny is on the other side of fear, baby. Just, just do it. <laughs> Whatever it is, if it's good, it's for the highest good of everybody involved. And just go for it, baby. Uh, that's pretty cool, but... Um, I like to read from the good tarot book anyway, so let's just find it here. Fortune, number 10. Number 10 is completion, actually, so. Um, okay, here we go. Destiny meets synchronicity. I am in awe to experience many meaningful coincidences that prove to me that spirit has my back. These lucky breaks and moments when things just turn out perfectly show how we're all connected. My gamble will pay off and when I trust my co-creative partnership with spirit, my destiny is obvious to me now. See, that block has been removed. You have clarity and now you know what you need to do. That is awesome. Congratulations, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful June.